All right, so in my last video, I made it pretty clear that I'm no longer playing Neopets, but that's not going to stop me from critiquing and shitting on Neopets. If you think I was being relatively negative or negative Nancy or Debbie Downer, now that I'm fully committed in my belief that they're not going to make the game good, we're going to keep getting mediocre dog shit. Nothing burgers, basically. I'm going to enter, I guess, the hater whitefish arc. Where maybe someone out there can just educate me. <clears throat> or teach me the mental gymnastics to have faith in Neopets. Maybe I'm just not stretching. Maybe, you know, I'm not, like, my jaw can't, like, extend that why to just get on my knees to suck TNT deck. Like may maybe there's a part I just, th I, I can't angle it right. So you know what? <clears throat> I thought I might just take a little time here. No, oh, that's discord. So let's talk about stupid things. I would type that differently, but in Neopads. All right. So eventually I want to have like a red flag category. <clears throat> Orange, I should like big and then we'll call it yellow small and then like uh, compliments. <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty empty category. Uh, and then my wishes. Like, all right, I, I want to be a complete asshole. All right, so we're gonna call this, we're gonna call TNT do better. All right, <clears throat> stupid things. So just going off more recent events, like we have to address this, this fucking giant problem. 50,000 food club bots. At some point in this video, probably I'm going to complain about or suggest that we need to get rid of food club. It's just a gigantic inflator of Neo points. If this is how you earn Neo points, it's a shitty system, poorly designed. You're probably a dog shit trader, and I guarantee you cry about inflation. If they remove Food Club, and you have to earn Neo, pet, Neo points from playing games or weird behind the counter contests where you get a stamp and you sell it to some reseller for like nine figures. Like, I know I'm on my haterade arc here, but getting rid of Food Club just cannot be a bad thing, in my opinion. It just incentivizes account stealing and incentivizes all this bullshit. We have all like we have at least twenty thousand like if he can't earn money from doing this, what's this food club water gonna do? Obviously he's probably gonna hack more people, other shit like that. But just for me as a casual person who could I could only bet I think three thousand. So back when I still kinda cared, I was betting about two thousand. So my bet history Please load. So I'm I've bet seven million and I'm up nine million. And I can't imagine what I would have earned if I could be betting ten, fifteen thousand ago. Ooh. Like it's crazy. <laughs> just just with ten simple clicks, I turn thirty five K into hundred and twenty seven. It's a really bad system. There needs to be an update on how you earn Neo Pets, earn Neo Points, but at the same time, all they do is every event is here's some free shits so you keep playing our game, which is unsustainable. As much as you want to LARP that this is good for the economy and de inflation, I would love to know how you earn Neo Points, okay? <clears throat> all right. I guess I should put them in a category. Okay. This is catastrophic. I, I, I literally cannot explain or make it more apparent. This is basically, I think it's a third to a quarter of all players are this one guy with this spook club bets. Probably more. I'm going to include like someone who logs in once or twice a month. Like, But that that's a substantial worry that has been going on for over a decade. And they're like... Eh, like, not a big deal. That's, like, is buying a problem? Standard Energy says no, says TNT. So, all right, all right. 
this is where like I I will die on a hill probably. <clears throat> the accusation of Alice slash hidden TNT staffer Jenny Trillions. I truly would. If you had told me right now, like, as a new player joining, do you want to play a game where they have, like, literally one person who takes all complaints, sees all complaints, handles all complaints, makes all adjudications for right and wrong and batting and account recoveries, and does all the support stuff? Is one person, a person's being accused of multiple years of being either complicit or connected to genning trillions of NP? Like... That's enough. I'm done. Like, there's... Right. So this is just right here. This is called no integrity, like Stan Mars said. Like, th these are these are integrity issues. Integrity. <clears throat> I don't know how you could at all play a game and just close your eyes and just open your mouth and go, nothing bad's going to happen if I close my eyes. It's like, no. There's a lot of problems right here alone. These are substantial problems in my opinion all right let's let's go somewhere soft now let's go somewhere soft all right dominic asking for feedback this is the dumbest fucking thing i like also him talking about um what's that word politicians use that don't ever fucking mean it trudeau what's your fucking transparency yeah this is just this is the transparency. This is the make-believe word. This probably should be in red flag, but I just don't think Dominic has the ability or talent or know-it-all or experience to, to navigate that. But hearing for six months about asking for feedback and transparency to not give a single fuck and then hire or like have a stupid ambassador program so, okay, so are they active on Reddit? No. Are they active in the Neo Discord? No. Okay, so like, they're making l no zero attempt to cross the bridge. They're not communicating. They're not talking. Like, they know they're not going to give it. So when someone knows they can't deliver anything they say, this is what they do. Hold on, let me just... All right. They have an own little official thing here, and they don't do dog shit with it. This is their level of... I don't know, like, involvement with the community. Is them having a Neo Discord where they post here every so often. And they tell you about stupid merch that no one cares about. Fix your game. Let's just see. Like, like, what do we? Let's just scroll up here. So, let's go from the new year, All right? Let's keep my fair shake. Like, I know I'm gonna be Debbie Downer here. So let's just see. Okay, <clears throat> AMA. I talked about that. It's been a while. I'm so sorry for not popping in sooner. Cool stuff. Share with you. The whole idea of like when they have these like get hype for future things and then we have no fucking good updates for nine months they took over. Um did she quit? I don't even know. Neopets is hiring. Uh, okay. You know it's not a great system when you're posting to the <laughs> In case you have never played like video games with those bots. People always go, hey, make me a player moderator or make me an in-game person and I'll I'll go take care of the bots. And then it becomes a clusterfuck of just... Like, our ambassadors have had very little power and they still have fucked it up significantly. Which is its own problem. And I guess, like, hating on Neopets for not shitting on or keeping their ambassadors accountable is a big thing for me as well, but... Uh... <clears throat> We'll talk about this later, but like non-staff members doing the events, it's just, I understand you're trying to like ride the hype of a well-liked and popular YouTuber. Great. I love the idea, but 
from a professionalism and a communication standpoint or a communicative standpoint, it's just bad. I want to know what's going on and I want to be clear and concise and straightforward. I don't need to have any fluff. It's just, it's sidestepping accountability and transparency by having someone who doesn't work for your company do it. It's like, oh, like, they can't ask tough questions. Easy peasy. And, like, those questions all seem to be basically vetted because they're on the thing that you see it. NC, oh. So I have not my list that I want to make, NC items. This is so bad. <sighs> Charging you now, it's $10. <laughs> <laughs> charging you charging you over a month subscription fee to change the art of your pet please go play grundo's cafe or a clone i'm gonna try out neo pets classic in a few days here oh what a waste of money they changed the price here too uh okay just information the part where, like, I'm going to whine about it later, but the in-game new system is so bad. I am so tired of hearing, like, when I, whenever you hear the word transparency from anyone, they have two to three chances to showcase that it's an actual thing they care about, or your Dominic word. That's just a word we've said, and we're going to completely abandon the whole notion. I don't know what they've been transparent about, about these food club beds. The only thing he's been transparent about is like Neo Truth having some information, but don't believe him slash kind of. <laughs> this is going to be a long video. I have a lot to complain about. Shit. All right. <clears throat> these are just uh, unfulfilled promises slash expectations this is bad okay okay here we go let's go up here this is a pretty big humdinger for me dog shit in-game chat message system i'd go there but i don't want to leak my own messages but the part where you can't say Discord, Reddit, YouTube, or you can get a warning, perma silence, temporary, whatever bullshit. You got to adapt or die, guys. We can't, <clears throat> we truly can't be living in 2003. Everyone who plays Neopets is 19 plus, minus people who drag their own children, nieces, nephews with them into the, into the, the depths of despair. It's it's just such a broken system. Nothing about it's fun. There's limitations. Oh, I spelled cucumber. I'm like, oh, like, hey, like in my farm growing up, like people planted pears. And you're like, what did I spell wrong that I can't send a message? And you're like, oh, it's cucumbers. Oh, you can't say the word grape? Oh, like, it's such a broken system. I, like, I'd, it's a red flag. I just, I, I can't, eh, no, it, it's, it's dog shit in the sense that, like, it can get you perma banned slash forever silence. That's so fucking detrimental to the experience. There's been so many times, like, after I got a couple warnings, I'm like, I just can't talk to you people on Neopets. I can't risk it in a ban because I said grape. Or I uh, encourage people to do off-site something. I just, it's just such. This is so bad. <clears throat> okay, N now another red flag for me. Whew. All right. Premium being terrible slash no value. All right. Uh, let's go see Neo Jelly. Let's spell correctly. Neo Jelly Premium. I made a video on premium. I think a bunch of people have, but it's a literal j -j 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 joke. This is all in USD. I'm just going to first say it in complete honesty. Nothing they do is worth $8 a month. Like 
the stuff they offer you isn't worth eight dollars a month usd you could just save up for two months and buy a bunch of steam games that are way better than neopets but i guess if you're playing you're pretty addicted you know you can admit it i am very mad about this removal <clears throat> this was my final straw as a player by the way was removing this four month option It's just so bad. I can commit to a four month. Hey, I might play two months. And if I wane off at, at month three and it, I kind of miss out on 30, 20 days of premium. Cool. But I, but $95 for that or 70 a year. It's like, what do they even offer you? 20 bucks off they haven't they haven't offered any premium sale discounts since they took over in 2023 so what do you get referrals no one does referrals trust me side accounts you could not have your side accounts i know many people out there who have had or have on both accounts it's a very you know you have a shitty program and, and like design when side accounts can't have premium <laughs> It's like, how do you balance the belief that a player shouldn't be able to have two paying accounts to support the game you, they play? What other game can you not have premium on your other account? It, <sighs> Advertise. It's called Adblock, so that's pretty straightforward. The toolbar here is... Basically, you get the free species change, you get the super shop wizard, which is the only actual good thing about it. And I guess you get access to getting Nurk mids, but Nurk mids, because they keep making every paintbrush where fuck all Nurk mids and people, I know less people are buying premium now too as well. So what are they like 100k, 130k now? Ultra platinum 140. <clears throat> One thirty. Outside of going for the trophy, it's just not worth it because there's just so little. Let's just go. Uh, Alien Asia Vendi. Yeah, we're taking a little. No, I'm not gonna give you my location. Come on. No, bro. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the chances you have. I will just say they cost 125k. So on average, if you're spending 125k, and we'll say it takes about on average 18, because you get you get Nurk bits back, and we'll say you're using them. So we'll say it's about one on 18. So you're spending about two point ish million per paintbrush, and it's only 100 eligible. How many are worth over 1.5 million? <clears throat> 40. Okay, that's actually not bad. So you have a 40% chance to get 1.5. Okay, we'll say, let's say 2.2 where I was. So you have a one in four chance. So on average, you're getting back about 25% of the value you gamble with, <clears throat> which even slot machines in Vegas have like a 92 to like 96 RTP return to player. Granted, you gotta play lifelong for that. Okay. <clears throat> it's weird seeing, because I haven't played in a while, this has gone up a lot. <clears throat> Interesting. So let's actually sh see what's actually supreme on the top now. Wraith's gone up. That's gone up. Marikwan's been about the same for a long time. Hmm. Very interesting. That's crazy inflation. All right. Back to business. All right, premium. As far as problems go, this has to be in yellow. You want to incentivize your players to play the game because it should be something that's fun and exciting. So like the part where I'm mad about this, just understand like part of me, I have no wish for the game to get better or get better over time or them to be, I, I, I've, I've given up. If they were going to have anything good to say, 
imagine even premium if premium every day you got <clears throat> let's say when you log into premium you get every day you get one fairy quest for free and once a week you get a cracker it could be the library cracker it could be the food club cracker whatever, whatever. like trading cookie like just something just a matter like that like that has value getting four cookies across the month like every sunday you get a cookie or you get some sort of something cool but no if every day i got a fountain fairy quest and increase my pet stats because training sucks and they haven't added any way to train your pet for a long time that'd be cool but a lab ray or i guess if you like technically it would be on top of your actual quest to get a fairy fairy quest cookie but even then it's super cool <clears throat> something to do but the part where they have even done that is so annoying to me premium sucks all right okay this is it. this is we're, we're gonna get some tendies all work, worked up here every new update is basically take free np all right a lot of people At least on Reddit and the Neo Discord, they love free shit. Like we love, I guess, the redistribution <laughs> of NP or free NP, or I guess just inflation or generating items. <clears throat> but these events have been lackluster. I, I loved the, what's the fairy event? Fairy event Neo Jelly. This one. The one item that they made that was super interesting was the recycling gift bag. They really fucked this up with the points. I'm like, what what scientist, what Harvard education, like what Harvard educated mastermind figured out that a higher rarity should be worth less points? And what a what a swing and a miss that people couldn't recycle their their useless UC. Actually, I should put down the list here too. Actually, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a long video. The part where they showed the original items and went back on it, <coughs> so bad. Excuse me, <clears throat> get that. I was gonna say Corona, but I've never had Corona. <clears throat> This was such a fun idea. <clears throat> if this was in the game still, I might be still playing because I have a gamble nonstop. We got a chance for rare items. This way we have. S this was the actual appropriate way to handle inflation. All these items have a chance to come back into the game. Granted, I want to clearly ban all the Spook Club bots accounts, but. New players, old players, expensive items, everything is going to slowly come down at a nice, relatively stable rate. That I liked a lot. Also, I told everyone to choose Team Illy, and I hope you guys did. <laughs> Staff still worth a decent amount. <clears throat> this was relatively fun and exciting. We got a little bit of update. The, I'm not even sure what the right anime word is for this, but like the weird lesbianic relationship with Illy and Jidora. Like, I'm not sure why they haven't just sent that ship because like the people who are simping for Neopets, they would gravel at your feet. They, you could literally run over their cat and they'd be like, well, the cat was going to die at some point, but knowing Jidora and Illy, you know, held hands as... Some mutant grundos killed something. I don't really know what. Ugh. <clears throat> what is events? Uh, Neo Jelly has a bad way of going over events. This is my critique. By the way, shots at Neo Jelly here. Wish I could just search events here. <clears throat> like, okay, like, current update events. Like, what were they? Uh, 2023 Halloween Neopets Neo Jelly. Hey, how about all one day we're going to release out all these items and they have a chance at a paintbrush and then we're going to make 
a bunch of items that were expensive worth, you know, we went from years of being worth 10 plus million to Bible now. The thing is, you can't truthfully, truthfully even pretend to me anymore they care about inflation. They could just stock the super, the fairy tower with insert item at a set price. They don't ban the FC botters. They allow FC Food Club to still exist. They don't update premium. It's so annoying. Just so much free shit. Like, uh, AC Neo Jelly. Sorry, I want an advent calendar. Excuse me. Advent calendar is where I guess I give a little bit of leeway. But what, like, what happened? We made Ixy Potions Bible. Okay, not not bad. We this was peak. This was the peak of the AC. They added a new P3. That was a good yes. Christmas Rock, take it or leave it. I wish they would address something about making like the base color to repaint your pet. Not a great system, but just it just keeps encouraging inflation on certain color paintbrushes. Don't care that much. This was like the best day we had. Where, but they re-released the ICC potion. It was a daily reward. Another Bython. Snow Bunny can't be painted. People are pretty happy with this. I know people who decided they were just gonna lose 25 million that day. <laughs> Oh, what a bad day for people. There's just no empathy on Reddit for people who had like 60 to 100 million. And they're like, hey, I want to get a super rare item that I'm going to keep forever. Maybe it'll go up in value over time. And then it just got shot down. Just boom. And they just lost 20% of their worth. Like, well, you had 50 million to lose anyways. Candy Champ stamp. These stamps... I just, I don't care about stamp collections or avatars, but just really annoying that when items get retired and you're going to be, hey, these are not going to be released anymore, but just kidding, they're going to be released anymore. Super frustrating. Like, it's hard to have faith in a game where uh, retired doesn't mean retired. Um, <clears throat> this is yellow. Retired, not meaning retired, aka still released. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be on there somewhere. All right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> this is orange. This is just. This is unsustainable slash money grab slash no new content. Okay. Nothing shit I didn't ask for. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just going to compose myself here. Just... Just the headache of thinking about all the poor choices. Because, actually, it was just right here, actually, I think, right? You know what I, I didn't care about? is tarot cards. I didn't care about that. I didn't care about whether my plushy head could move. I cared about the game being good. These merch updates, like, shit I didn't care about. $65 for a calendar. <laughs> And I know people who bought this because they're just, they're too enmeshed and in love with Neopets as a concept and as, you know, this wellspring of past nostalgia and fun. Uh, you know what I didn't care about asking for was a Neopets upper deck premium trading card game. I'm just going to mute it for obvious reasons. <clears throat> okay. This is the Fountain Fair, I'm guessing. 
I'm almost waiting for a point where we talk about, like, <laughs> we go back in time where Neopets hashtag too white like the Oscars. Uh, get ready for an enchanting world. Come to life on your tabletop. Featuring brand new original art. Wow, Shara's new art? That's from artist. Maybe I'm supposed to know who these people are, but I don't. Is it gonna like I would assume in a trading card game they would show you how the game works. This is not what her face looks like usually. And her blushing I hate every second of this face like ugh. This is also a retconning like Jadora used to be janky. Like <clears throat> Yeah, I had an H in Jadora. Fight me. Like, this is what Jadora has looked like for 20 years. I guess we're going to whitewash Jadora. That's nice. At least they almost tried to make her necklace. Oh, there we go. It's crazy how they have better in-game art for a YouTube thing than any update they've had in the game. That's great. Uncover the wonders. We would love new content, new continents, two-player TCG. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. When you play this card, you may search your deck for a paintbrush and play it or add it to your inventory. Your rainbow... Pool Neopet skin, one attack, one defense, one agility. If your Neopet was painted with the rainbow paintbrush, gains additional one to all stats. <clears throat> Redeem this code. Okay. It's obviously a money grab, which I'm relatively... I'm, I'm fine with the concept. If the game... This is... I don't know if even anyone's cared about Blizzard and just shit in the bed over the past six, seven years with other games and updates and content but people will forgive almost anything if the game doesn't suck if the game doesn't suck we like all the sexual what we call that discrimination accusations that happened at blizzard that like, blew up if the game didn't suck I'm, i guarantee you those would have been relatively swept under the rug, not cared about or paid out or not cared about. But when the games suck, people care. <clears throat> if you think I'm living in 2008 where I'm excited to care about you releasing something at a Comic-Con, this is how we did this is how the biggest franchise Blizzard did stuff to reveal to their millions of fans. Any comments here? I'm just curious. How do I get a link there directly? Thank you. That was so inspiring. We are in a golden age of TCGs. At your door resign. Time back. Really? They haven't even released the game. Like, <laughs> this almost feel like bot replies, or I guess. I don't know. I think I actually know who this person is, Hyper Mike. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <clears throat> oh boy, 35 minutes. Um, every cart shows incredible diversity and rich nostalgia. Okay, so apparently they've already heard from the future my uh, Neopets fairies hashtag too white, and there's no male there's no male representation of fairies, which is very problematic.
Be sure to keep a six plus. I don't know about that, bro. <clears throat> All right. I didn't ask that stupid uh, uh, Neo Jelly new mobile Neopets game. The part where they spent money on this stupid thing. Do I got to find what it's called? Shit. God. Well, I found it. Just this wonderful game called Island Builders. A beta sign up. Whatever happened to this game? They even made a guide. <clears throat> It's funny because this game alone probably has more updates and wildly at least something to do in the game. And there's literally no new content in the game. There's no new quests, no new NPCs, no new train. Like, there's no, there's no new areas in here. There's no new scratch tickets. There's no place to train your pet. There's no cooking pot funny thing. They haven't changed any new... The wheels haven't changed. It's just... No new continents. But you can spin the side of the wheel. Wow. Nothing new. No new games. No new like established lore. Ugh. All right. Let's get back on. This is a uh, TCG plus uh, mobile game. This is just a, like this is just a waste of money, effort, and just time. Like this doesn't make the base game better. You can spin off once the base game is good. I don't mind these as concepts to begin, and some of the art's super cool. I have no problem with that. Like, yeah, like, cool stuff, but when the when the game sucks, this is the problem. All right, where are we? All right, this is the personal one to me. A lot of people don't really care about this. News page on Neopads is very bad. This landing zone for news is one of the most terrible things I've ever experienced in a game. <clears throat> it's so cluttered. Okay, so there's like a NC Mall thing here, an advertisement here, new games. There are no new games. What are you talking about? New games. Contests and spotlights. Okay, so you're like, okay, what I want to do, your mouse gets stuck, you scroll down, you're like, I want to go up, but I can't, and you... So you're like, okay, what I want to read here, uh, gallery spotlight, there's a poem section. These are just things no one does. And if they do, it's mainly for either a trophy, avatar, or to get, I guess, NP through selling items. Don't forget the poetry contest. Is a poetry contest actually done by votes or just by random? Or is it just by done by some TNT staffer just giving you a check mark? Uh, better than you not working makes me kind of angry. All right, let's see the last round here. <clears throat> what is everywhere half of the full and available every third? Wow. What do the following Neopia items have in common? There's gold on them. Ant. Cool, bro. Think fast. What do these have in common? <clears throat> the letter O. The part where one person solves these problems now and they post it and we all submit and it's been very documented by Neil True so how this works. If it's a, if it's a cool if it's a good prize, it gets solved almost immediately and the FC botter goes on 
a hundred, two hundred accounts and claim like just submits it and claims all the prizes. If it's dog shit, he doesn't play the game. So that's great design. Also, like the Neopian Times. Has anyone actually gone through and read this stuff? This feels like such a waste of time. Like, there's no way people still read this, right? Guess people submit them. This is just so much work that doesn't enhance the game for me at all. I think it's been quite a while since the update 1000. Maybe they show you how long. <clears throat> Every this was every four every second week I guess okay that's not that bad I suppose but what are the odds any person has read these pages Jadora's facial expression showed uncertainty and perplexity the dark fairy looked around all she could see was the enraged face of King Altador Jadora knew she had to leave as soon as possible. She snapped her fingers and faded in the air. The end. All right, just. <clears throat> this is like the news page. It's just. Adapt or die. This is just one of these things that's super annoying. This is bad. It just. It's not engaging. It's not easy slash simple to navigate. Shows how old the like. I could say more mean things there, but that's not gonna be it. I could put it in here, but like the articles, also pretty relatively irrelevant. All right, here we go. Time to actually get to the few people who might get this far that riled up. Okay, non-staff <clears throat> members hosting TNT YouTube events. Uh, YouTube Neopets. I spelled that wrong. So this is when they still did it, which is kind of strange that they actually made them do this and they stopped doing it. But uh, so I guess I did watch all these and respond to all of them. So this was held by the cosplayer, Julie something, not Juliana, not Juilliard. I forget. Cosplayer hosted that one. Hosted by Neopian and Twitch streamer Lori. And this, like the last three, were all done by Kevin. I could be wrong. But this just frustrates the shit out of me. Because we were promised things like transparency. They ask for communication. They want feedback. And then, like, it's just completely not run by the staff. And you don't get any real answers, and it's all pre-vetted, and then Dominic just tells you some C-minus politician answer, and you learn nothing. <clears throat> this is just an event where people get together to discuss how they still play Neopets. Is what this has become. Nothing about this is about like quality of update, getting information, getting clarification, getting questions we care about like item genning, updates. We get none of that. This is just a huge miss. This is just this is orange. This is a huge miss. Wish I could bowl you now actually. We're getting gonna go fat, faster here. All right, so. Uh, all right this is this is where i'm gonna finally draw some controversy this is battered housewife 
Neopets players. Okay, I'll be inclusive. Housewives and house husbands. Never forget, guys. Ben Shapiro's dad was a house husband. Is it? <laughs> Uh, by this, I mean making up stupid excuses on behalf of Neopets. The amount of people who do this to me is so annoying. This is a red flag to me. The part of the community who will tell you like, oh, it's spaghetti code. Oh, they're looking into it. Oh, they're trying. Oh, give them more time. Oh, we had no updates. Oh, Alice unfroze my account, so therefore I'm going to do very nasty things because that's how I'm going to repay the debt that I owe. This is the worst thing. Uh, where did I post that? Did I already... Right. Stupid. I thought I already posted that. Oh, I put it down below? No, I put it twice. Got it wrong. <clears throat> Where'd my battered housewife go? I just had it. Oh, it's gone. Oh, well. But long story short, this battered housewife. House, husband. Like, it prevents TNT from doing any good updates. When the people are just happy, oh, good job, we got no new content to the game. You still pay $8 a month, now you can't buy four months. Oh, hey, we've been jerking off, like, real hard for nine months about this future paintbrush and future species. Oh, hey, it took 18 months to blacken the art lines of 50... You see pets that were released 12 years ago. We had the art too, and we charge you seven and now ten dollars a pop for. This is uh, just this is the making. I mean, or so annoying. Yeah, these are things that really piss me off in the game. If you don't hold the creator accountable and don't make any demands or ask to improve the game, they're not going to improve it because if you're going to keep paying. I'm not sure what the long con for Neopets is. I'm not sure what's going on. Granted, I guess I'm not paying for any more for premium. I'm not going to buy any UC items. So I guess that's that. Okay. All right, this is, I guess, a smaller issue, but games are useless. As a kid, most of us played Neopets because we liked the pet collecting, the pet involvement, just the idea of lowering a game and it's like an actual pet. And then you had fun games. Games are useless. Half you can play, half you cannot. That's kind of Flash's problem, kind of not their problem. <clears throat> I did my trophy thing where I played for two hours. I played for two hours on reset because obviously trophies get rehanded. I think at like 2:37 or 2:47 Neo Center time. I got in two hours with middle like someone in my Discord got 22 trophies in the two and a half hours. Granted, they had an actual plan. I didn't, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 12 trophies in two, two hours, two and a half. No research. I hadn't even played half these games. I hadn't even seen this game, this game, this game, this game. I hadn't seen these games before. And I still got a trophy. Which I guess is kind of fun, but games have no place in the game. There's no utility. I guess if you want to play Scrabble or Solitaire, or you want to play poker, or you want to play, I guess, Battleship. I feel like it's a missed opportunity. Opportunity? It's, yeah. Let me play a game, increase my pet's HP by one or something. Do something. 
I should make this bigger. All right. Compliments. Um, I like the art. I like the fairy recycling capsules. <clears throat> I like some Neopets players. <laughs> All right. Another thing that I really hate that this is a minor issue because I think it's coming up again here. How dog shit the Elthora Cup is. Oh, it's in the summertime. I'm too early. But the part where no one's played this game three to four hours a day for 30 days or how long it is, three weeks to get points to do this is so bad. Is there a shop somewhere I can click? And then they re-release this. Uh, I'm gonna put this under, uh, like, not fun events. You get punished for caring about the game. And then removing charity corner. No fun events for New Year's, like Christmas Day, Halloween, like other insert issues. <clears throat> the part where they don't have one off events just to keep you on your toes. Miss opportunity. These are missed opportunity. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Man, I keep clicking too many buttons. This is going to be a long ass video. All right, let's talk about it, ambassadors. I'm going to guess you guys didn't miss that page. They said they're going to have more in January. They're like, actually, JK, Raffle, we can't even help our current ones. But this, to me, is also a catastrophic problem. Where is it? This. These little pixels right here. <laughs> the sap drama. <clears throat> Granted, now it's been a few months that I probably forget the exact specifics, but long story short. Saps come out to the calendar. They were basically, I think they were about 1 in 100 the first day, maybe the first 36 hours. Okay? Ambassadors, people freak out. The odds change from 1 in 100 to 1 in 1,000. Or was it 1 in 10,000? No, it was 1 in 1,000. <clears throat> but then a bastard has found out the odds got rarer, but the item will keep dropping. <clears throat> so they bought them for cheap. Because obviously if you're going to have 30 more days at 1 in 100, there's a good chance we're going to see thousands of them. Not the 600 or so we got. So they people got flooded to thinking they're going to be super common, sold them super cheap. They found out, the ambassadors found out, and their various friends, that they were going to become more rare, and they're going to keep dropping. But they left up a post speculating that it got removed. So once they had gotten a whole bunch of saps, you go, hey, by the way, it's either going to be comically more rare or it's not dropping. So what do people do? They go, oh, fuck, I got to get one. So they were buying them for 30 to 60 million. There's... I've seen at least four screenshots of one ambassador doing it. It could be the same saps. I forget exactly. But selling these saps for 20 to whatever, 80 million, then reselling them for 250 plus 24 hours later and TNT doing nothing is wild to me. So on one thing, I distrust the ambassador program and I distrust TNT for not punishing them. If that's me, yeah. 
your account just got fucking purged. You you had a privilege and a responsibility, and you decided to misuse it. Goodbye. So this is the ambassador's. Uh, this is a price manipulation slash rumor milling to make NP that uh, TNT did not respond in any way. <clears throat> this is a red flag to me. If you can't keep your own house accountable, what the fuck do I expect in the game? If you can't even handle a softball here like this happening, don't have time for you. All right. All right, let's talk about it. I could re-go over the... Actually, I have a post on it or a video about it somewhere, but the part where all those hidden cove items went to the food club water after like week two. Hidden cove neo jelly. Smuggler's Cove, excuse me. The part where a bunch of these all got re-added and the Food Club Botter got like 78% after like day three. <laughs> it's just not a system, guys. Like, the part where like, hey, we're going to add like, uh, on the boss, we're going to add a chance. We're going to fight a boss. There's going to be a 1% chance you're going to hit this table. And hey, love it or hate it, it is what it is. Yeah. I gotta stop clicking that. All right, hidden club, just insane. Yeah, like it's hard to have any. This is a big red flag. This is like it's it's. Not fun and encourages and allows body. And just it's so silly. By allow by encouraging and allowing body, I mean like all these events you get free shit. So the idea like, hey, do it on your side, or you have some alt, or you want to call it, hey, collect a few more things here. Like if I didn't make YouTube videos and I didn't care anymore, I might do it to like for chance get banned. I don't give a shit. This is a huge problem. <clears throat> All right, on to that I talked about before earlier, but Food Club has got to go. Nothing about Food Club is good for the overall health of the game. This is actually probably my most controversial thought I think I have this entire video. Because so many people love it and they, this, is, this is how you earn Neo points, but this has to go. The amount of Neopets that are generated from here that fund and are the reason why we have so many botters. This still kind of existing heavily makes me lean towards this is why they aren't going to ban the Food Club botter. Either they got to ban the Food Club botter or they got to ban the game and find some other way to deal, deal with this. I don't know what they could or couldn't do, but this is just unsustainable for the market you want to bitch about inflation well here it is this is the inflation generator this is why there's a gazillion neo point this is why someone can buy up 200 paintbrushes to make them unbuyable in less than an hour this is right here and this is just it's just insane np generator for black market <clears throat> This is pretty close to my red flag wants, if I had a want, but it's right here. It's it's a significant issue, but we can worry about that later. <clears throat> okay, another one here. Uh, daily quests, no updates. This is a swing and a miss. The part where it's been, I think, six months now and they haven't updated this, to me, is banana sandwich. <laughs> These items are all worthless. We could probably find out when it actually came into existence because after a week, what if we would have found out? So, about that time here, 
this August. This, I mean, sorry, this end of October. So we'll say it came out. We'll say it came out October or November first. We have it all November, December, January, February, March. It's been five months. So these items are all super worthless now. I can't imagine when we're ever going to see these items be worth anything of value. It just feels that they abandon it. <clears throat> it feels abandoned. It's not fun. Once again, favors botting. Daily Quest is a, as an idea. I don't mind the idea, but once again, if you don't deal with bots, it's just going to keep being a problem. All right. I think about an hour. I'm going to cut it out here. I got more to talk about, but... Mm, okay. I got a few more I want to talk about, but... <clears throat> so let's just end this. I don't want to bore you guys to death. Um... Wishes. I can go back higher now. I want, I wish, some form of professionalism answers about Alice Jenning items. Admittance. <clears throat> and I want polls. This is what I want. I like like these wants here are pretty obviously, you know, tongue in cheek, like hee hee haha. But like I I want a certain level of professionalism. And hey, like, can you give us ten minutes a month? We're like, hey, we're gonna have a person who their job is to communicate with the Reddit. Neo, Discord, forums, post, Twitter, take whatever you want to do and communicate what's coming, what, what's happening. At no point when I still care about the game did I know what was happening, what was exciting, what was going to happen. But th when you add no updates, you can't even do that. So I understand why you wouldn't even have it in the first place. I, I polls, like, unless they add polls, I don't see myself playing the game to any level that I did before. Like, I still have, like, 100 million worth of items in my account. So, yeah, I'm probably going to gamble those. It is what it is. I'm going to at least, I'm going to, I'll at least, you know, ride the chicken till it dies. You know, before my weight crushes its spine, then i got to make chicken noodle soup or have some wings. Let's just take a quick little look here. Red flags. Yes, there's just a third of all players being bots who have access to all the same events, activities you do, all those recycled capsules, all those daily quests, all the food club bets, that, you just can't have that. Accusation of your staff members jetting trillions of it, yeah, that's, that's a red flag. Dog shit in-game chests that can get you banned, and it's funny how it actually, if you follow the recent Neo Choose post, that's what got the art real world trader for real stuff got banned, because he talked about going off site. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> this is a player-based critique. I just can't stand the people who make up excuses for Neopets when they've done nothing to improve the game. Too many shills and simps. I just can't handle it. Just people just want want to ride the last of the, the fairy dust here. They just want to ride the carpet. They don't care that it's all useless and it smells like shit. No good updates. No new confidence. No new zones. No nothing. No nothing. The ambassadors not being punished is a big thing to me. I If you can't enforce behavior from people who are supposed to be representing the community or having the best foot forward, I'm sorry, I can't. These are huge flags to me. This is this hidden cove slash FC slash day. Like, like the main... The, Instead amount of money going to the food club bot, this these, these cycle back into a thing where if you keep giving free shit, it only like this guy's getting everything. So not addressing the bots is just also a, it's going to be a perpetual cyclical problem where it just goes in a big circle. <clears throat> 
So orange being mild, Dominic asking for feedback, transparency. This is just, yes, these are unfulfilled promises, expectations. This is a fart in the wind. Like maybe you smelt it for a second, but it did not have a physical form. Never happened. Didn't become real. Can't prove it. Premium sucks. <clears throat> That's a relatively big problem, but it's not game breaking to me. Every update is just free shit login. That's also relatively, it's unsustainable. Once again, food club water. Non-staff hosting these events. Yeah. <clears throat> the people hosting don't know shit what's going on behind the... It's just literally a who's who and hot potato and how we can not... How we can make it not obvious that we don't have anything actually good coming down the pipeline. If there was hype shit to talk about, you don't think Dominic would be there just stroking it off telling you about these big improvements? No. He would be out there, you know, full chub out there showing you all the meat and potatoes that he's got coming down. But doesn't have it. Pretty controversial here. Food Club has got to go or the bot's got to go. This is just unsustainable. Can't do it. <clears throat> Daily quest, no update. This, this, is, this is also just under like, there's just no new content. It's so bad. Like it's... It's really flirting with between orange and red to me where it's there's nothing new in the game. <sighs> Yellow. Retired, not mean retired. Yeah, like there had to have been a way to compensate or deal with that. We could also talk about forced conversion. We could talk about use like there's a bunch of shit I didn't talk about yet, but <clears throat> should have asked for it. Yeah, like please make the game good before you try to diversify and make other shit happen this is like plus also like imagine telling your audience hey like our big plan is that you guys are going to wait 12 to 18 months for us to get merch licensing licensing <laughs> when we're like hey how much make the game good well no i want to be able to, to not do that new page on neopets news page yeah this is just this is like unusable. No one uses like I'm not saying your jellies is much better, but it's actually <clears throat> you can navigate it. <clears throat> the games are useless. I could go on like Battle Dome Battle Dome Useless, no new challengers, no events for it. Just, and not fun events. <clears throat> I think I've got a real, so maybe you got some, maybe you got some words of wisdom for me. Maybe you know something going on. Maybe you think I'm overly nice or overly mean here. I'm just curious where you think the game goes right, where it goes wrong, what's going on. <clears throat> like I said, like, I am, now that I'm full scorched earth, get, like, give your negative opinion. I got no problem with it. <clears throat> like, you're the person playing the game most likely still, and I'm just here to take a fat turd on it because it is a fat turd. Like, looks like a turd, smells like a turd, floats like a turd <laughs> when you flush. It does a little circle with the toilet paper before it goes under. It's probably a turd. This is a turd. <sighs> All right, well. That's been a fun video. I've had more fun with this video, just even though I've talked about this before, than I have playing the game since the Fairy Festival. As always, take care, have a good time, and peace! And don't let the bed bugs bite. Take care.